A compound is a substance made of two or more elements that have chemically combined. Water is a compound made of the elements hydrogen and oxygen bound together as molecules. Each water molecule has two hydrogen atoms bonded to one oxygen atom, giving a two to one ratio of hydrogen to oxygen. And elements will always combine in fixed ratios when forming compounds. Ammonia is a compound made of the elements nitrogen and hydrogen bound together as molecules. Each ammonia molecule has one nitrogen atom bonded to three hydrogen atoms, giving a one to three ratio of nitrogen to hydrogen. Water, ammonia and carbon dioxide are molecular compounds because the elements have combined in fixed ratios to form molecules. Elements can also combine to form ionic compounds where ions bond in fixed ratios to build a lattice. Sodium chloride is an ionic compound made of sodium ions and chloride ions bound together in a lattice. And the smallest repeating unit is called the formula unit, a sodium ion with a one plus charge bonded to a chloride ion with a one minus charge. But instead of forming discrete molecules, they attract and bond with other sodium and chloride ions to build a repeating lattice. And no matter how large it gets, it always has a one-to-one -one ratio of sodium ions to chloride ions as given by the formula unit. Calcium fluoride is an ionic compound made of calcium ions and fluoride ions. Ions always combine in ratios that give a neutral charge. So for every calcium ion with a two plus charge, there'll be two fluoride ions, each with a one minus charge. And this formula unit is repeated throughout the lattice, giving a one to two ratio of calcium ions to fluoride ions. The properties of a compound are often very different to those of the elements that make them up. Sodium chloride or table salt is a clear, brittle solid that's soluble in water. But the element sodium is a shiny gray metal, while the element chlorine is a pungent green gas. The elements in a compound have been chemically combined, so they can't be broken up using a physical process. We can't physically break up water into the elements hydrogen and oxygen. Only a chemical reaction that breaks the molecule's bonds can do that. So we've seen that compounds are made from two or more elements that have chemically combined in a fixed ratio, and that these compounds can be either molecular or ionic. We've also seen that the properties of a compound are different to the properties of the elements it contains and that only a chemical reaction can separate the elements from a compound.